Whether you shoot photo or video, filters are gonna enter your life at some point. Whether it's more practical ones like NDs and polarizers or creative ones like mist filters, you're gonna need them. Now the company Freewell has introduced this new kit all based around magnets, oh! Here, as a matter of fact, that could meet the needs of 90% of people who make things with cameras. So let's talk about what's so special about this kit, what's included in the kit, and what it's like to actually use. Let's start with the NDs. An ND, neutral density filter, it's essentially just sunglasses for your lens. Especially with video, since you wanna maintain a certain shutter speed or angle, and you wanna adjust your aperture to your liking, then a lot of times you need to cut the amount of light that is hitting your sensor, and you do that using neutral density filters, ND filters. Now, there are individual ND filters of different strengths that you can swap or stack on top of one another, or you can use a variable ND filter where it's two polarizers against one another, one gets polarizers later, and as you turn it, it changes changes the strength of the ND. I don't really understand exactly how they work, but they're cutting out a certain type of light. So they aren't making the image darker like an ND, but they're cutting out, if you've worn polarized sunglasses, you can tell that one of the main things that you would use them for is to cut reflection. Uh, anytime you're doing automotive photography and you wanna cut out some of the reflections in the car, you would use a polarizer. You can also use it on water if you wanna cut reflections on top of water. Another thing is like vegetation, like plant life. If, if there's light shining on it, a lot of times you want the reflection of the light, but you can cut it out if you want to. You can see that it's cutting out a certain spectrum of light, I suppose, and as a result, it really brings out the actual color that was underneath that reflection. So polarizers can be super useful, not just for photography, but for video as well. And finally, there are more creative filters, like mist filters. You might be very familiar with the Black Pro Mist with different strengths, right? They have a quarter, eighth, sixteenth, etc. It'll soften your image and you'll see a little more halation added to any light sources that might be in the shot. Just to make things a little bit more or less clinical. You know, people talking about 8K, forget 8K, 4K is already too sharp for me. So sometimes I like to soften the image just a little bit. So this is the kit from Freewell. Pull up and you've got all your filters. Little labels on the side so you can put the appropriate filter in there. And overall it's pretty straightforward. I mean, when you first open it, there's like a QR code with a three part video series on how to use them. And then you, at first you're like, why would it be so complicated? And it really isn't. Once you get a hang of it, it's very straightforward. It all starts with your base ring. You screw this onto your lens and there's different sizes of this that you'd purchase. And then you've got two base filters that are just one stop of ND. This is the clear one. There's also a mist one, kind of like a Black Pro Mist. And then you just add whatever you want to it. Let's say, for example, I wanted a two to five stop variable ND. And so it's magnetic and you just rotate it. And as you can see, it changes the strength of the ND. Now, if you wanted the six to nine stop, same idea. And one of the things that I often forget to bring with me on video shoots is a polarizing filter. If you want a polarizing filter, you take the base filter out that I've taken out, and then the two to five, you just flip it the other way and now it's polarizer. Now the cap is also magnetic. There are a few little quirks though, because for example, if you've swapped the filter over to the polarizer, which means you flipped it the other way, it repels now. So if you just flip the lens cap, then it stays on. So what's great about it is it's all in one. I mean, it's, it's everything you could want in a sort of a basic filter kit. It all comes in the box, everything is labeled. You've got, everything's magnetic, so you don't have to screw anything on and off. Once you've got your sort of base ring on your lens, and then so you've got your variable NDs, you've got mist, you've got polarizers. You got a lot of bases covered there. I mean, it's sort of meets 90 something percent of your needs if you're using screw on filters. It's got little grooves built in so that they're hard stops on the NDs, on the variable NDs. So it prevents that X pattern from appearing in your frame, which can completely ruin things. Now let's talk about potential improvements to the product because no product is perfect. I think it's a great kit, but there are a few little concerns. I think the biggest missed opportunity here is that they should have included a second lens cap with this system, and I'll explain why. So let's say I've got my variable ND on my lens. Now, the whole idea with this magnet thing is that it's quick, right? The whole point of this is speed. So let's say I wanna take it off. So I can put my lens cap on, take the whole thing off, and now I've got no ND. Where does this go? If I need to put it back into this, well, this thing, it's not like this thing fits in my pocket. This is probably in my bag. So if I wanna put this away, 
So that means I gotta open my bag and get this out. If the whole thing is about speed, then all the time you saved by having a magnet, then it's, it's all out the window because you gotta open your bag and get this thing out. If, on the other hand, there was a second lens cap, it could go on the other side, because it's magnetic. And so then you could just throw that in your pocket and not have to worry that either side of your filter is gonna get scratched. Freewell, if you're listening to this, you should ship this with a second lens cap. My other concern is uh, when you put the lens cap on, sometimes when you try to take the lens cap off, the filter comes off with it. You gotta get to know how to take the lens cap off. I mean, it's pretty simple. You kind of slide and take off, as opposed to just pulling it straight off. Because if you pull it straight off, your filter comes off with it. And then the last issue, you'll notice the sand will stick to magnets. Let me give you an example. I got the variable ND side, and let's say I wanna switch this to a polarizer, so boom. But I want you to listen to this. I wanna bring this right up to the mic and just listen. So there's sand in there. You can't really blow them out because the force of the air is not as strong as the pull of the magnets. But that's just physics, that's not, I mean, if you're gonna get a magnetic system, that's just a risk. So don't take this to the beach and have your stuff all over the place and definitely don't put that lens cap on the sand. Anyway, that's a lot of filter talk. Um, there'll be a link in the description uh, if you want to buy these. I know for sure this is gonna be my kit going forward because it's just got everything in it, especially if you don't have filters and you just kind of want everything that you need in one go. I think it's like 400 bucks. Let's find out how much this is. Okay, yeah, 400 bucks American. Anyway, that's all. Make sure you subscribe. A lot of videos coming up. X-Pro3 review coming soon, as well as possibly me saying goodbye to my Canon gear.